Welcome Capricorn and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please keep in mind time is fluid so whenever you view this it may represent a past, a present, or a future event for you. If it does not resonate for you and even if it does be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for additional messages and guidance. There are always timestamps in the description box if you would ever like to skip ahead. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus in love and in life. Capricorn, I'm going to read your energy at the top, theirs at the bottom, but it can be flipped or reversed as this is a general reading. Okay, under the deck here we have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. I feel like Pisces had this card, I cannot remember. We have chemistry here, there's a strong magnetic attraction here, and we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. There could be a difference here for the two of you. Like maybe one of you is older or come from different backgrounds, religious, cultural things. Maybe just you didn't expect this person to be your type or something like that. Clear messages and guidance, please, Spirit. What is the energy here? In love and in life for Capricorn, Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus. In love and in life, please, Spirit. You guys voted over on Instagram as the deck of the week for the Gilded Tarot. This is the, gear, the Gilded Tarot Royale. So. so your messages and guidance, please, Spirit. What is the energy here? Capricorn, Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus. Okay. <clears throat> we have the Hermit, Virgo energy. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Four of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the King of Swords. Okay, in their energy, we have quite a few cards. I'm gonna take these back. It's too many. Okay. We have the Seven of Pentacles. The Hangsman, that's Pisces energy. We have the Two of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Page of Wands and the Nine of Swords in their energy. Under the deck here, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This is about a slow opportunity coming in, a slow offer. This person really kind of dragging their feet a little bit. Clear me messages and guidance, please, Spirit. What is the energy here for Capricorn? I just lost my voice. <clears throat> Clear messages and guidance. Okay. Only time will tell immediately popping out. I don't use this deck a lot. It kind of sits at the bottom of my drawer, but you guys have really been enjoying it when I've been using it. So here we go. Okay. We have passion. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. We have sacred union. And I feel like Pisces may have had this honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. And only time will tell. I showed you that image. There you go. All right, so straight away we have chemistry in your energy. So chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. There's this big energy here of temptation, okay? Um, it's kind of like, you see how he's like showing her the possibility here, this light. Look what we have. It's like you can't, like a moth to a flame, you can't really fight this. It's like this... I wonder what, I wonder what this would be like. I wonder if we tried this. I wonder if this happened. All these questions in your mind, you feel drawn to this person. You can't help it. You can't seem to fight this connection. But it's almost like a should we, could, shouldn't we kind of thing. See how she's kind of biting her lip here. She's kind of like, I don't know if we should do this. Can we do this? Is this a good idea? We have the hermit here. So that's Virgo energy. You know, you're really in your head about this person, about the situation. Maybe you feel like they've withdrawn from you, or maybe you've withdrawn your energy from them. This is kind of an isolated kind of energy, kind of going deep into your mind, figuring things out. You're feeling a loss with this person for some reason. You're feeling like a missed opportunity here, perhaps. Um, I I'm hearing should have, would have, could have. If I could go back in time, I would have did something differently, or maybe they should have. You know, what about the possibility? What would have happened if? It's like you, you're planning to move ahead, but it's like you're having to go very slowly because you're looking for deceptions along the way. You want to make sure that this is safe, it's safe to proceed ahead, that you can. There's nothing blocking the obstacle or the path. There's nothing deceptive here along the way. We have the Five of Pentacles, so you're really, I mean, you're really feeling alone right now, Capricorn. You're feeling, and some of you really, there's a sadness, like an emptiness, a loneliness here. 
and that's not for every single Capricorn of course this could be your person okay but it's like you feel left out you don't understand what this person's going through what are they feeling what are they thinking where are they are they coming back should I initiate something you know it's like you can't stand being away from this person but you're still holding back anyway, holding back your feelings, holding back from them. Some of you could be holding back in a, because you're in a situation where you have financial ties. You could be worried about money, perhaps. It's for some of you, not for all of you. We have a lot of Earth energy here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the Knight of Cups, that is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy here with the Knight of, I'm sorry, the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this is about you wanting to rush in here, wanting to express your love, or maybe you're waiting for this person to do this. You want to be able to have this opportunity to clear your, to clear your mind, okay? Tell this person how you feel, what you want, you know, you know, be able to, they're, they're showing like reviving the connection. This person's holding back because they're unsure about how you feel. Okay, this is going to be a specific message. This is not for every single one of you, and it all could be reversed, right? They're showing me a rejection. Like maybe this person asked you to be with them in the past, and there was a rejection. And now you know that you have to break the... And this, and this is for this is just some of you, okay? This person knows they have to come back in because they rejected the past person and now this person's insecure okay this person doesn't know right and that's not for all of you again that could be flipped but there's a, a need to express your feelings here you want the opportunity to clear your heart you know tell this person you know i still think about you i feel drawn to you you know do you think about me you want to be able to have this emotional deep conversation with this person we have the king of swords here so i say air energy you're trying to strategize and plan, you know, this renewal, this revival of this connection, how you're going to make this work. Should you come toward this person and wait for them to come towards you? Studying, male or female, you're studying this person, trying to figure them out. Now we have keep an open mind. You're so different from your usual type and expectation. So I feel that you you or them were afraid of gossip in the past. Now, I mean, this could be a lot of things. Maybe you guys come from different cultures, religious backgrounds. Okay, maybe you guys come from different necks of the wood. Okay, maybe some of you come from money and some of you come from, you know, a, a, a poor upbringing. Okay, maybe it's a difference. Okay, maybe somebody here is much older than the other person. Okay, maybe this person isn't what you expected. Maybe this person is one of you is very adventurous and outspoken, kind of. Okay, they're telling me it was. They're, they're telling me hard to settle down. Um, now, this is for some of you, not all of you, of course. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Um, this could have been a player in the past or somebody who really didn't expect to fall in love. This could have been somebody who was very emotionally immature in the past, didn't know what they really wanted. They, they weren't very grounded. They saw that you were, however. But they've been waiting. Okay, they've been waiting. They're waiting to come back towards you. The Seven of Pentacles and the Hangman, that's Pisces energy. This person's been waiting for an opportunity here. They've been holding themselves back because they feel like you're coming back around. They're waiting for you to break the ice or they're waiting for their opportunity to do this because they don't know if it's a good idea. They don't know if maybe you've moved on or maybe you're with someone else or the situation's too difficult. Maybe they've given you too much space. They don't know how you feel anymore. They, feel, they may feel like they missed their chance. Maybe they feel like they're too different from you. Maybe they feel like they're not good enough for you. But you both feel the same chemistry, the same calling, the same pull toward each other. We have the hanged man. It's Pisces energy. This person's trying to hold back, keep their hands. They're trying to figure things out. They're trying to figure out how to break out of this cycle. They're making this decision here. They still feel like you're destined. They feel like you're fate. Two of swords about picking a path, choosing a direction. Problem is she's blindfolded. She can't see what's going to happen. They're worried. If I initiate this conversation, what if Capricorn wants nothing to do with me anymore? What if Capricorn has is too mature to move on and settle down with someone else? What if Capricorn's not interested anymore? Or what if I try this again and I get my heart broken and get rejected again? That's what I'm here for some of you. I'm getting rejected again. 
we have the wheel, the wheel of fortune so they do feel like your destiny they feel like you're their fate you, they feel like eventually it has to come together it's like you're two halves to the perfect puzzle strong soulmate energy maybe twin flame for some of you we have the page of wands so fire energy aries lucid Sagittarius. they're waiting for from for news they're waiting to hear from you okay they're in their head they don't know it's kind of like they, they decide two things if you did not reject this person in the past if they rejected you they want to reach out to you and they're very nervous like they send the message and they don't know how you're going to respond they don't know they don't know they don't know if they're going to be able to get another chance with you they're in their head they're having a lot of anxiety and fear about it a lot of uncertainties about what's going to happen if you rejected them in the past they're waiting to hear from you because they don't know how you feel and they're really in their head about it a magnetic and seductive equality surrounds you at present enjoy it they're coming back around they can't stay away they feel this connection is sacred uh, they know only time will tell it's like they said they press in on this message they're waiting to hear what you're going to say they're coming in here towards Virgo Capricorn energy with stability they want to make things equal but they're carrying this heavy weight they're carrying a lot of guilt and about the past they know that you're the one and they want to make it happen they could have been codependent in a past relationship or situation could have had an addiction of some sort but there's an apology here this person's had an epiphany a wake-up call they want stability all right, Capricorn, this was your reading. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in booking a private reading with me, if you want to know what decks I'm using, or you want to follow me on Instagram, all the information is always in the description box below. I am wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.